If you're looking to learn guitar, check out Dave Isaac's Guitar Studio on Music Row. Whether you are a beginner or hobbyist, to a professional songwriter or artist, Dave offers a unique and powerful method of instruction that teaches not just the instrument, but the whole musician. Find out more at NashvilleGuitarGuru.com. From the family grocery hauler to fire-breathing racing engines, the one name you need to know is USA Motor & Machine, located at 51 Cleveland Avenue in Nashville, Tennessee. Give them a call at 615-726-726. 3725 or at usamotorandmachine.com. Welcome to Music Business Daily, where we bring you the hottest music headlines. Today on The Daily, is Miley Cyrus's wedding off? Does Tim McGraw have a secret son? And we're dying to know if Justin Bieber is okay after fainting in London. Today is Friday, March 8th, and we're ready to kick off the weekend. Jeff Meeks and Chris Austin invite you to watch your favorite sports event at the Batter's Box at 43 Hermitage Avenue in Nashville, Tennessee. The Batter's Box offers shuttle service to all Titans home games. It's a great place for friends to gather for the game and after the game. So check out the Batter's Box Bar and Grill, and thanks again for sponsoring the show. Bandwidth for today's show is brought to you by SoftLayer.com. We love SoftLayer here at Talkopolis. They are the greatest hosting company ever. They make everything easy. Check out their website at SoftLayer.com. Thanks again for sponsoring the show. Welcome back to The Daily. I'm JC Stoffrin. Let's kick it off. Do actions speak louder than tweets? Miley Cyrus was spotted in L.A. without her engagement ring on, and there have been reports that Miley and her fiancé Liam Helmsworth have been having problems. He's flirting with other women. She's really busy with her career. So when the ring came off, there were obviously some speculations that the wedding was off. Funny, because the day before she took the ring off, she took to Twitter saying, I am so sick of LA and sick of the lies that come with it. I didn't call off my wedding, taking a break from social media. Tell us the truth, Miley. What's going on? I mean, I get that you're busy. And you know what? If my fiance was flirting, flirting with January Jones, I might be a little self-conscious too. But I mean, we don't know what's really happening because the ring is off after she said that. So maybe there's more secrets to that than we know. Speaking of secrets, country star Tim McGraw was accused of having a secret son earlier this week. But it's completely false. Sounds like his 23-year-old Tyler Zarbo from Orlando, Florida, told the National Enquirer, which, trust me, you can't always trust because they report about aliens and stuff. Who believes that? But anyway, this boy told... National Enquirer that when McGraw was engaged to his mom, Christine Donahue, Tim helped raise him even though he wasn't his biological son, which is a really nice thing for Tim to do. I think any guy dating or being engaged to somebody who has a son should do that. But turns out after they split, they also kept in touch. The rumor is that Faith Hill wasn't too happy about their close relationship, and Tim had to cut all ties with Christine and Tyler, to keep, um, well, a pseudo son, I guess, and keep it under the radar. But Tim's reps report that these false statements have been sensationalized just to sell tabloid magazines, which I can get. I mean, he probably was a really great friend to this son, this pseudo son at one time or another. And I think it's just a bunch of bull hockey because I don't really, I mean, he obviously has a really great relationship and he has three wonderful daughters with Faith. It doesn't seem like there's too much turbulence, but sounds like somebody wanted to sell some magazines and earn some money. But here's something else that might be in the tabloids. America's sweetheart, complete sarcasm, Chris Brown cursed and threatened a valet after a charity event in California over a $10 service charge because he wasn't even there that long. He was quoted saying, give me my keys, we're going to turn the spot up, I promise you, before someone from his entourage handed the valet $10 and Chris Brown stormed off. First of all, you're at a charity event, Chris Brown. It's supposed to be where you have a great heart, you're giving. Also, you're really pretty famous and pretty well off, so $10 is really not that big of a deal. But if you're going to blow up over it, I mean, I'm, I'm not really surprised. But Chris Brown, if your entourage has to save you from probably doing another stupid thing and hitting somebody, going off on somebody more, you should probably rethink it. I really think you should get into counseling, and that's just me and probably 99% of the U.S. population that hears about you. Moving on, though. We're talking The Voice Season 4. NBC's hit singing competition is now entering the season without CeeLo Green and Christina Aguilera, which is, they've kind of been the staples to the show, and I've really enjoyed them. I think them with Blake and Adam Levine have been really funny, and they have this great banter going on. But they are moving forward with two different people, replacing them in the revolving chairs, Usher and Shakira, which are great artists. I know that they'll, they'll be great coaches, but it, I wonder how 
the the vibe between all the coaches is going to change and the competition is going to change and how they're going to interact with each other. I think it's going to be funny, but completely different. And I'm excited to see how it's going to go. So I know we know it'll be hot no matter what, and you'll want to tune in. Bieber fans, you can breathe easy because Justin Bieber is okay. He had to be taken to a London hospital after he collapsed at a concert last night with four songs left to go. He was given oxygen from emergency workers and then he insisted upon finishing the rest of his set, which he did, then was carted away for further medical attention. Thankfully, though, he Instagrammed this picture, which will be shown here, with the caption, getting better, to reassure his fans that they can keep on believing, which I thought was really funny because if you see the picture, he's shirtless, kind of saucy in his hospital bed, kind of covered a little bit with his hospital gown. And I've really never thought of when, I mean, I've been in the hospital before for certain things like a transfusion or um, I was really dehydrated once. And I, I guess I never thought once to be like in a push-up bra in shorts and be like laying out and being like, hey guys, I'm feeling so much better with like this saucy come hither vibe. And I thought it was really weird. And I guess maybe that's why he has a way better fan base than I do, probably with other things as well. But super weird, glad he's okay. Maybe next time, not a shirtless picture when you're sick. I don't know. It's a little weird for me. On a more somber note, Wednesday, Nashville, Nashville here in Nashville, we held a memorial service, excuse me, for Mindy McCready. Old friends Brian White, Lori Morgan, um, and a few others came together to celebrate her life and sang, speaking of her difficulties and triumph. Lori Morgan said she achieved many of her dreams with number one records and fame. But we all know fame and fortune do not ensure happiness, words, words I think we can all live by. Here in Music City, the memorial was attended by about 200 people and occurred two weeks after her funeral in her hometown of Florida. Um, again, McCready's death was a result of a suicide. If you, a friend or family member, need help, we encourage you to log on to HealthyPlace.com where you can assess or access mental health hotline numbers from anything from alcohol treatment to panic disorder. Take care of yourself, Nashville. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll all see you Monday. But if you can't wait that long, you can find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash Talkopolis or on Twitter at Talkopolis. We even have an absolutely 100% free phone app where you can find us anytime on your Android or iPhone. See you later, Nashville. Talkopolis, the social media TV network for your city.